Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School back out here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. What we're going to do today is we're going to make the world's greatest grilled cheese sandwiches with some zesty dipping sauce and we call these Pathfinder Triangles out here at the Pathfinder School and they're kind of a tradition at the Pathfinder Gathering that we make lots and lots of Pathfinder Triangles while we're there. So I thought I'd share that with you guys today. We'll get started on that in just a minute. I wanted to answer a question about Zahn real quick before we started this video because he wasn't down here during yesterday's video. He's not down here this morning, but I did see him up the top hunting around some a block pile this morning. So he's here. He just hasn't come down here yet. Maybe he's not smelling the food or maybe he's just not in the mood to walk as far. I don't know. We'll find out. But if he shows up, we'll definitely have him in the video. All right, guys, let's get started. So to make a great grilled cheese sandwich, the first thing you need is some kind of a spread you're going to put on the bread itself when you're frying it in the pan. And so, obviously you're gonna want some butter in there. So we're gonna take a big old thing of butter here, put it in a pan, put it in a mixing bowl, excuse me. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add to this to give it more flavor. And what I'm gonna use with this is Old Bay garlic and herb. And I'm just going to get in here and get some of this out. Put it in here. That's about half a teaspoon probably. And I'm going to get that mixed in with this butter really, really good. You can see the consistency of that. Open that around in there. And that is what we're going to use on our bread while we're cooking. So that's step one. Okay, next thing we want to do is we just want to lightly grease up this pan on a medium heat. And we don't need this thing to be floating in butter, okay? It just needs to be greased up really well because remember, we're going to butter the bottom of this anyway. So if you got a little excess in there, just get rid of it. You just want that thing coated well like that okay keep an eye on your heat you don't want to get it too hot too fast okay now take a slice of bread get some of that spread that you made there and get that dude lathered up good just like that Make sure you get it all the way around that dude. Good thick coating. If I can't see any pores in the bread, then I got enough spread. All right, there we go. Get that dude on just like that. Now, once we put that on, we're gonna put some cheese on. Good cheese is a really important part of this, okay? This is good yellow American cheese. And at least two pieces of cheese, sometimes three, depending on how thin it's sliced. So we're gonna put three on there. Now we're just gonna let that brown. And then we're gonna put Another piece of bread on top of it with the same spread on it, just like this. Easier to do this. You can hold on to it with both hands. There we go. Coat that bread really, really good. top just like that let her cook do not be afraid to take a peek at that dude every once in a while when you're trying to brown him but you don't want to burn him and if you don't think it's cooking quite enough quite fast enough you can always bump your heat up just a tad Now 
All right, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, this looks pretty good. Flip that dude over. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, fun. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Okay, so we got our Pathfinder Triangle here, our world's greatest grilled cheese sandwich, and I covered it up because Zahn's down here now. <laughs> He's liable to get hungry. So, now we're just gonna make some dipping sauce. Most simple recipe on the planet. Duke's mayonnaise. Get yourself a good four or five tablespoons of that. Frank's Red Hot. I put that shit on everything, right? Mix that together just like that. Mix him up. You can judge the heat by what you want. Yourself a little dipping sauce. A Pathfinder triangle. You're ready to rock. All right, once again, we get ourselves down to the taste test here. Get this pop opened up. Give this frosty root beer a shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good root beer. Heck, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got a nice flavor to it. All right. Time for a triangle. Holy crap. Them things are so good. Man, them things are good. You make some of that dipping sauce, and you'll be sorry. That's a Kevin Baxter, Camp Chef, Camp Master Special right there. Salty Dog Outdoors. Check him out on YouTube. He's a great guy. Mm -mm -mm. That's fantastic. Ain't nobody don't like grilled cheese. Mm -mm -mm. A nice hot tang makes it perfect. Frosty root beer is really good too. Guys, listen, I appreciate you joining me out here today for this video on how to make the world's greatest grilled cheese sandwich. Ah, off the table. Zon showed up to join us today, as you can see. He did pretty good today. Bumped the camera about 48 times, but we got through it all right. I appreciate your views, guys. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business. All our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. And I know one of the questions I've had a couple times lately in videos is requesting I do more cooking over a campfire. And I have plenty of opportunity to do that and plans to do that. It's just hard on these daily videos to come out, start a campfire, let it burn down to coals, control the cooking heat of that fire long enough to cook one single meal and then take off and try to get video edited and uploaded and all that stuff and get that done in one day. That's a difficult task. So it's easier for me to do it on stoves and camp stoves and camp burners and things like that right now. And then slip in a camp cooking video that's actually over a campfire as I can. But they will be coming and we'll do more with cast iron and lots of other things as well. That Stargazer cast iron skillet that I use today, I use that quite frequently both on the campfire and on the stove. 
and I'm quite, quite impressed with that. So if you're looking for a good cast iron skillet, I would definitely, above and beyond, would recommend cast iron, and I don't make a dime from that. I don't know how to, they, they sponsor me with a skillet. That's it. I don't make any money off of them after the fact or anything like that. I just think it's a great skillet, and I've got 15 cast iron skillets, and that's probably my very favorite one. So, again, I appreciate everything you do for us, guys, and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks for your views.